Hey everybody, it's Ethan Dre with Be Creative Studios Video Tutorials and today we're just going to be reviewing importing a Photoshop document into After Effects or a PSD into After Effects. So once you open up After Effects, we're just going to go to the File drop down menu and we're going to go to Import File. Notice you can also hit Command I to get here as well. Once we click Import File, we are then going to choose our Photoshop document or our .psd and we want to check our settings down here import as instead of footage we want to choose composition retain layer sizes that's going to allow us to work with our layers separately as opposed to merging them all together alright and we want to leave Photoshop sequence unchecked and we're just going to hit open now notice we have import kind again once again you want to check composition retain layer sizes and we want to keep editable layer styles otherwise we won't be able to work with our layers separately and you're just going to hit OK alright notice we have two different things show up in our project window our first is the name of our Photoshop document and the type is a composition so by default it is turning our Photoshop document with all of its layers into a composition. The way that we open this is we just double click it and that's going to let us view it in the composition window, all of the different layers that we're working with here and all of the different groups or compositions within our Photoshop document. Notice in the project window there's also a folder with the name of our Photoshop document and it says layers these are all of the layers that our Photoshop document contains okay so if you have a layer and you want to inspect it you can just double click that and it's going to give you a little preview of what that layer is and as mentioned in the interface and navigation tutorial in After Effects it is important to use your folders and your layers and name them that way it smooths out your workflow it keeps it less clustered and it makes everything move a lot quicker. Now moving on down in our layer window you'll notice that I have layers and I have compositions as well. Okay so keep in mind that the layer that is on top is going to be the layer that is visible or closest to the foreground. So if you have a layer that's in the foreground and you want to move it towards the background you're just going to click and drag down that composition towards the bottom. Okay and notice that's going to change the visibility that's why it's really important to name your layers and your compositions that way you know what each layer or composition contains now notice we have all of these other compositions within our Photoshop composition that we imported so that means that these are made up of several different layers as well so if we double click this tank composition it's going to open up and it's going to reveal the different layers and or compositions that make up the entire tank composition. This is referred to as nesting compositions. Now we can navigate between our compositions just like tabs. So any changes that take place in our tank composition are also going to take place in our main composition because that's where the tank composition is nested. Okay everybody this is Ethan Dre with Be Creative Studio Video Tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on importing Photoshop documents into After Effects. Thanks again for watching and please check back for our latest tutorials.